Gearing up for another round of active weather. This time it is primarily going to be up to the north, just like it was last time as far as the potential for snow. This is out in Letcher County, Payne Gap. You can still, if you look, pick out hints of some of the snow that did come down and stick to the grass yesterday. Uh, very limited stuff there. And the max track shows that we are in good shape. We've got very little happening. Pop down to Texas, different story. This is where that low is going to be coming from. You can see it just working its way into southwest Texas and is eventually going to push northeast. So as it does so, we will see an increasing uh, chance for clouds late in the day, an indication that something's up from the southwest. And eventually, we'll start to see rain spreading in. But yes, I'm talking rain. The mixed precipitation is up on the northern edge of it, so we'll be in the 40s for highs today. Not incredibly warm, but warm enough to keep it rain initially. But then as the temperature starts to drop overnight, northern counties will have to watch out. There's going to be a narrow band of mixed precipitation. Could be some heavy, wet snow at times. The big question mark is whether or not it'll hang on long enough to give us any kind of accumulation before we kick over to back to uh, primarily all rain. So that's just before the morning commute. Notice where the heavier snow is setting up, Ohio and Indiana, just across the river, and that is likely where it will stay. So we've got a couple of hours worth where we may pick up some snow, northern counties, and then kick it over to rain and then keep scattered rain showers with highs well into the 40s, maybe pushing 50 tomorrow. Before that system pulls out and we wrap colder air in, and on the back end of it, Wednesday night into Thursday morning, some scattered snow showers there where we could pick up some localized Minor to light accumulation there. So it's kind of a system that's bookended by a not very good snow chance for us, uh, but that's just kind of what we're dealing with. The, the winter storm, the warning runs all the way from New Mexico all the way up to Michigan and western Ohio. Uh, now, the National Weather Service did bump out the winter weather advisory to include that handful of northern counties I was just talking about where you've got that couple of hours worth of uh, you know wet snow mixed in with the rain tomorrow morning. So if you're driving up I-75 or even west towards Louisville, watch out for that. The roads could become slick and even uh, some slushy snow could become problematic. The main band of heavy accumulating snow that could literally run anywhere between six to eight inches or more is right off to our north. Cross the river into Indiana and Ohio, they are going to get hit hard. And our in-house computer model doesn't even bother throwing some snow down this morning, but it does start to show that potential accumulation through Thursday with those back end scattered snow showers there. So we'll have a couple of chances, but it's just not going to be anything terribly impressive. Everybody will likely get in on the rain, though. You could be talking a quarter to three quarters of an inch of rain. The range uh, with some of that possibly made up as a little bit of snow. 28 degrees now and the forecast highs next couple of days are going to bump around in the 40s. So, yeah, you want it colder to really get snow going, which is where we would be Thursday into Friday, but that'll be the tail end of the system Then we're back in the 40s this weekend. What bears watching is what's coming late in the weekend. Mostly to partly sunny today. Enjoy it. Overnight rain kicks in and we'll have that couple of hours worth of a window in the morning, primarily north of I-64, northern Kentucky, where we could see that rain snow mix and even see some slushy snow accumulation for a bit. And then uh, kick over to cold rain showers Wednesday and then scattered snow showers Thursday. You catch that break and then over the weekend, some rain Sunday with highs in the 40s. Early next week, we may have a better chance to actually get some snow going. So that is what we'll really be honing in on as we get closer to the weekend looking into early next week.